Hello Sewing Style Squad! I'm Tabby and this video is all about my patchwork project. So this idea came from two different things. So in the world of quilting for a long long time, this is, goes back I think to the 1800s, maybe before the 1800s, women were making things called crazy quilts and they were things, um, scraps of fabrics, it wasn't like you think of a uniform quilt today like you know two by two inch squares all sewn together in a specific pattern or like a log cabin quilt where you put all like pieces together in a certain way. Crazy quilts were just pieces of fabric that they sewed together, they embroidered on, they applique on, there were bits of clothing left over, there were little pieces that didn't fit in other things. So that and the idea of that comes from the 30s when they had things that they made dresses out of flower sacks and they didn't really want to waste anything, they wanted to reuse things. And so I had this idea long before, I think Dior had this idea, um, but I'm just late to the game, of taking scraps of fabric, say from things that I've, you know, made in the past or I used to make a lot of doll clothes and I have a lot of small pieces left for, over from that, taking those and sewing them together and whatever random format and then making uh, really what I wanted to do is a piece of clothing really a dress so so taking all these scraps that are too small to go into bigger garments sewing them together to make like a fabric and cutting a dress out of that so Dior did have this idea and they made a I think a whole runway series so I think they had a dress maybe pants couple different pieces were in the fashion world at one point and maybe beyond Dior, I can't remember, that people were making clothes out of patchwork. So I wanted to do this all by hand. I like sewing by hand so I'm going to sew all the pieces of the fabric together, the little scraps together by hand to make a piece of fabric and then cut out my dress from that and sew that by machine. So I found this really cute folkwear pattern at a thrift store and I love folkwear and I just was enthralled with this one and it's a Guadalupe dress so I was an apron I was really thrilled with the idea of patchwork puff sleeves I just thought that was just be so cute so that's what I want to make out of my patchwork fabric but this is not going to be a quick project in fact I have been working on this off and on for probably the past three years so I'm really hoping to pull everything together um, sooner rather than later and make this dress because I think it's going to be a really cool dress and a really cute idea. So join me as I try to <laughs> make this dress. So my original plan for this crazy quilt dress was to hand stitch it all together, um, all these little pieces, and I didn't really stop and think about it and I threw it in the wash. And then because of the narrow seams I took, it started to fray and come apart. And so I realized that a dress and having it wash so much, this would all fray out and become ragged and nasty. So my solution to fixing this, I thought, would be um, searching the edges. So encasing all this in thread, right? I myself do not have a serger, so I went to the Fashion Alliance to um, use their serger and to learn how. And one of the ladies there was so kind to look at my project and say, Oh, that's cool, but you know, you've got some issues here, you've got the curving, that's not going to end well. And um, I explained what I wanted to do, and she's like, Oh, yeah, this looks like crazy quilting. You can do that on a muslin base. And so she showed me how. This is my sample. Um, so she showed me how to sew pieces down. You, She told me to take a bigger seam. So this is a quarter inch. Then you put a decorative stitch to hold it all together. And you keep doing that until all your raw edges are covered. And then this way it's on a muslin um, base. And everything is encased. And that way, also, if I have any like really super like thin and sheer pieces, it won't be showing through and I have a lining and a backing for my dress. So I thought that was cool and she said you can do it on muslin. This is a scrap piece they had at the Alliance. 
and I happen to have the bottom sheet left from that tacky green <laughs> sheet that I used for my last waste not want not project of turning sheets into um, clothing so I went ahead and cut all my dress pieces out rather than so this is the sleeve rather than doing it all on a piece of muslin she said I could do it on a muslin and then cut it out um, but rather than get wasting fabric because the, the the goal here is really to use everything I have in this way I don't have to run out and buy a bunch of muslin either is to um, cut all my pieces out first and that way I'm not wasting extra fabric trying to cut it out later um, and then crazy quilt on top of this which is you know very thin itself um, and then assemble the dress so that's the goal going forward now I am going to crazy quilt all the, on top of this so you won't be able to see the tacky green and um, do that for all the pieces Again, this is the pattern I'm going to use. So I'm thinking for, I can use the sample piece, this, for one of the pockets, and that way I will still have that. Um, but I'm thinking for the pleats, or the ruffle at the bottom, I think it's a pleated ruffle. And, like, the contrast here, I think I'll go ahead and use something else, and, like, the cuffs. Um, I'll use, like, all one fabric instead of trying to crazy quilt that. Um, I have a bunch of leftover fabric from different things. I hopefully can use some of that to all be coordinating. Or I even have another sheet that I was using for my mock-ups for my designs. I have some of that leftover and maybe I could use that. Um, we'll see. Right now I am kind of obsessed with crazy quilting and how fun it is.
my dress pieces have been crazy quilted. They're all gone. This is the front of the dress, and then these are the two backs, and then the sleeves. They're all done. I've done a basting stitch around the edges, so everything is sewn down. It looks great, and I'm just now ready to construct the dress itself. We're ready to get started on making a dress a dress. So the first step is to gather the front of the dress down so then we can sew the tie on top of it.
little dress is finally finished. Woo! So I think I filmed that intro for this video maybe three to two years ago. I filmed and that intro I mentioned three years previously I had been working on this project by hand. So in that point of September I switched over to doing it by machine and I did the um, backing. So um, it's taken a while for me to complete this project. I think it's one of the most time consuming projects I've ever done and that was mostly because I was quilting all the pieces for the dress. And then the construction of the dress itself didn't take that long. I did make a few tweaks here and there to the pattern. Um, again, this is a folkwear pattern. They recently brought it back so you can buy it from them now. When I was started this project they didn't have it for sale anymore, but since then they have brought it back and you can buy it again. Not sponsored. But a few alterations I made is that in the pattern you do this part actually on top so you can see like it's a um, it's not in case like I did and I skipped the pockets because I wanted to showcase all the um, patchwork or the crazy quilt that I had put time and effort into and I didn't feel like covering it up with on top um, patch pockets so I opted not to do patch pockets um, I think if I opened up a side seam, and I'm not sure if it's in the right place though, I could put in pockets, like in, I don't know what they're called because I don't know the technical term, but like the pockets that sit inside the dress, I think I could put those in the seam if I wanted to. Um, I changed my mind on a few different things. So for the yoke, I was thinking originally that I would just do a plain fabric, and I had done the purple, um, the polka dot purple fabric for the yoke and I didn't like the way it looked so I decided to go with the pieces here are the pieces I originally learned how to crazy quilt on so instead of using them for the pockets I used them for the yoke and then I wanted to do like a little embroidery piece here um, I really enjoyed the, all the embroidery that I wound up putting into this dress I've got a sunflower, I've got a turtle it makes it kind of a little fun like an ice spy dress like look for the turtle look for the like tiny heart I have up here on my sleeve because I wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, I have flowers. It's all kinds of fun. I mean, it's definitely not 100% like a wearable everyday dress. I feel like it reminds me of the 70s wearable art kind of things that my mom did in college or that people were doing back in the 70s and the 60s. It feels like that to me. Um, maybe like the Dior collection meant for like kind of fun occasions, maybe like a concert, not that I ever go to concerts, but I could see this at an outdoor co concert. The thing is, because it is a crazy quilted, like back on um, the blanket, not the blanket, the sheet, and is making it a rather warmer dress because it's got layers, like it's got almost two layers to it. So it's not a completely summery dress, it's more like a spring or fall dress, I think. Um, but I do love how the sleeves turned out. That was my main thing, right? I wanted the puff sleeves with the um, patchwork, and I think they're super cute. I think overall it's a really cute dress, even though it's not maybe the most sophisticated or suave dress like the one I made for the fashion show. I think it's a really fun and unique piece. I do have um, a decent amount of scraps left over, so I could make a, like a crazy quilt top or... I don't know, shorts, and it was a really fun project, and I am kind of tempted to make more things, um, but we'll see. Uh, I did I complete, one of my goals was to not buy anything new and to just use everything I had. So back to doing the yoke, I said I wanted to make it out of the purple um, polka dot, so I wound up using that as a contrast for the sleeves. Another fun thing is, like, you could probably tell by looking at this dress, there's some leftover scraps from different projects you've probably already seen here on the channel. So this is leftover from one of my first fashion show collections. So I have that matching and the tie at the waist. And when I got to the ruffle, I didn't have enough, so I wound up using the pink instead. I kind of wanted to have a matching ruffle, but I did use everything I already had at home, um, which is why the zipper is a little short in the back. I didn't have the proper length zipper. But it's fine because I put a hook in the eye at the, at the top. So I learned a couple of new things. I had never done the lash and spread method they use for gathering up at the top of the sleeve. Um, I've never really done a puff sleeve at all before. Um, just 
a couple different things, I'm sure. There's also a gusset in the sleeve. I hadn't done a gusseted sleeve before. Just the crazy quilting itself I hadn't really done before, before tackling this project. So there's a couple new things that I learned. Um, there's definitely some imperfections. It's not perfect. Uh, my back is not completely flesh. Um, so that just kind of adds to the quirkiness of the dress. Um, overall, I think it was a really great learning experience, even though it took a long time. Um, again, I might not wear it to a lot of things, but I think it's a really fun piece to have in my closet and just a great way to, I don't know, use up my scraps and to learn something new and um, to be able to say, yeah, I, I did that, I think is always fun at the end of the day. Um, and to accomplish my goal of not using anything new or buying anything new, I think was pretty great because I think a lot of crafters or sewers have a lot of leftover little pieces that we can do use to make something like this. So overall I think it was a really fun experience. Um, even though it kind of took forever. And um, yeah, I will showcase people. So if you spy any fabric or you find the turtle on the dress, let me know. Um, if you recognize some fabrics that are in other things that I've made, shout it out in the comments. And until um, and until next time, happy sewing, happy knitting, happy fun fashion styling, and uh, have a great day. See you next time.